guys, welcome to another episode of Make, Make it. it. Today on Make It, I am making homemade dog treats. Now this is a recipe that Buddha loves and it's very healthy and very good for him. He likes to watch the process of making it. <laughs> and it's really easy, I thought I'd share it with you guys. Okay, first thing you wanna do is grab a couple bananas. Um, especially really ripe ones. These ones are really ripe. I know, they're coming. My goodness, he knows what's happening. He's like, oh yes. <laughs> so put the extra ripe bananas right in a bowl here. Don't mind my hair, it's wet. I just did a condition treatment with avocado. Yeah. There might be avocado chunks in my hair, I don't know. I love doing a natural beauty treatment, so I think I should probably do a couple for the series. I think you guys would really like it. Okay, so you wanna mash up some banana. Oh, that doesn't look good. I ah, know, I know. This is good because it really binds everything together. So mash up the banana. And bananas have a lot of natural sweetener. So dogs really, really dig them. Let's see. So you want it a little chunky, so this is probably good. Um, the next thing that I like to do, so we're, we're going to actually mix this in my KitchenAid. So once you mash up the banana, put it right in this bowl. One of my favorite kitchen tools that I ever have received is from my mother. Actually, two of them. They're both KitchenAid brand, but the KitchenAid mixer, I use it like almost daily, and the KitchenAid food processor. It works awesome. So the next thing you want to do is take some organic carrots, and I want to grind them up to put them in these little doggy snack balls. So I'm going to put in about half a cup. That's probably good. Maybe a little more. Carrots are really good for dogs. Buddha likes carrots. He does, he loves he's them. Buddha, right? He eats them just like dog treats. So guys, once you get your carrots in the KitchenAid food processor, you put them in, you put the blade in, and you start grinding them up. There we go. It doesn't take long. Look at that. Now they're nice and small and will go perfectly with these doggy treats. Let Buddha balls. smell them. What's going in your doggy treat balls? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Buddha's gonna have a very busy day because today is Buddha's bath day also. Oh no, Buddha bath. He doesn't hate baths, but he doesn't love them. He kind of just stands there like, we say, okay. We say bath and he runs in the other room. Okay, so, so far we have bananas and carrots in these dog treats. The next ingredient are eggs. Put it Buddha's right in there. Now after you, after you use eggs or meat, you always want to wash your hands pretty well with soap. Even though they're organic and local, you still want to be sanitary about this whole process. Okay, the next thing we want to do is grab some peanut butter. Organic natural peanut butter is best, but you could use whatever peanut butter you have in the house. Look at that. You do about half a cup. I'm going to do a little bit more. There he we go. He butter. does. Buddha, want to taste test it? Oh, <laughs> yummy. That's what's coming. Yummy. <laughs> okay, Buddha. He's excited. The final ingredient and next ingredient are oats. I get this um, really great brand that is all natural, and you put it right in. I'm gonna just should I pour it all in? Yeah, I'm gonna pour it all in there. It looks pretty that, good, actually. That, surprisingly, I know, right? Humans could eat this. That's probably about half a cup. So here's all our ingredients. We had peanut butter, bananas, carrots, two eggs, and oatmeal. I'm gonna put it over here, and I'm gonna mix it with my KitchenAid. And by the time it's done mixing, it's going to be a really great uh, pliable dough. It's already coming together really, really well. Ooh, it's smelling good. I know. Bud is very, like, very excited. Oh. He can't wait. He knows these are for him. Okay. Let's check. Ooh, those smell awesome. The only thing I wouldn't eat in it is eggs. Yeah, the raw egg. Well, we are going to bake these just for a little while. Okay, the next step is to grease a cookie sheet. I'm just using regular vegetable oil. You could use coconut oil. So will Buddha be able to like, is that okay for him to eat? Yeah, that? it's perfectly safe Good. for him to eat. But I don't really want these Buddha. He's getting it's very excited. He's almost done, he I know. He knows what's happening. <laughs> They're, we have to cook them. We have to cook these Buddha, then you can eat them. I think he just wants to see. You want to come up and see? You want to see? Come here, buddy. Come on up. You can see what's happening. I know. He wants to lick my hands. Come here. Come see. <laughs> come on. Here. He's like, how do I get up? How do I get up? All right, Buddha, ready? Here. Now you can It's going to tip over. <laughs> He'll be all right. He's like, all right, Buddha. Oh, he loves to watch the process. OK, so then we want to just take rounded uh, tablespoons and just plop them on a cookie sheet. Ooh, Buddha! So this is like one serving per 
dog for treat. So you don't want to give oh, them a yeah. lot of these. You want to just give them maybe one a day. And there's no um, science to this. You just plop it on, however. I am not a very neat cook. It doesn't matter to me. I'm kind of a messy chef. It's almost done. I'll have, a, I'll have a cooking show, The Messy Chef. <laughs> Buddha's like getting really excited. He's like, looking, he's like, oh my god. I know, he's so get excited. Buddha, I'm gonna let him have a little taste because it's fine. You wanna try some? You wanna try it, buddy? <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Is it like heaven? Here, let's put a tiny bit in a bowl for him. Yummy, 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 yummy. Yum. Because dogs can handle raw eggs. It's not as bad, like, I guess their stomachs are acidic enough it kills any kind of possible pathogens. Here you go, sweetie. So Buddha's gonna dive in a little early. He's gonna try his treats without them being cooked. He's having the raw version. The reason why I cook these, actually, guys, is because they're easier to handle. If not, I have, like, a bowl of slop I have to give him, which, I mean, you totally could do. And, in fact, leaving them raw might even be healthier with the uh, carrots, but... I'm gonna just bake them for a little while, just so they kind of hold together. Look at him, he's like, it's, it looks like puke. Oh, it does. Look at it, Buddha puked on the it plate. It does from the carrots. It's okay. So I'm trying to make these all around the same size. That one, those are. I know, I know, yeah. but you know how it is. You guys are used to me. My kids love my cooking, but they know I'm not the neatest presenter. Yeah. I have a raw food uh, catering business with my friend Christina, and she is all about making the food look pretty. That's her job, because I can make some really yummy tasting food, but man, she makes it look gorgeous. Okay guys, so how easy was that? I just whipped up these yummy healthy dog treats really quick and popping them in the oven. And we'll be back in just a minute to see how they came out. Pugs are loud dogs. They're grunts and snorts and snarls. He liked it, huh? I think he'll like it even better as a cookie. Yeah. He's like licking it clean. He's like, oh my god. Who does a piece right on your nose? <laughs> He's gonna try to get that off forever. That's always comical to watch dogs try to get peanut butter off your nose. <laughs> It's a carrot. Oh, Why is there a carrot stuck on his nose? So while we're waiting for Buddha's dog treats to cook, we're gonna give him a bath. Here's Buddha's dog treats, fresh out of the oven. We gotta let them cool off. I'll probably cut them in half or three pieces and put them in a baggie. That way we can give them to him when he wants a snack. Okay guys, well these look really good. These are Buddha's uh, dog treats. I can use a spatula, this spoon is not working. I'm really glad I greased that pan. I mean because, I'll tell you, they're already sticking. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even going to grease it. I thought the peanut butter would have enough of oil that it would stick, but it is sticking. So let's see. Ooh, Buddha's going to be in heaven. So these are going to last a while. Yeah. Should we play a prank on Daddy and tell him they're cookies? No. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. What do you think? Do they look good? Yes. They are all natural, wholesome treats. All whole foods. Organic deliciousness. People made big money for treats like this, and you can make them really easily, as you saw. Buddha knows. He's already licked the bowl. Should we give him a little bite? Buddha, come here. Want turkey? Good, so they look really good. Buddha, want to try it? I'll put it right on the floor. He's sniffing it. He's already full from the other bites. What? Oh, there he goes. All right, Buddha. Yum, yum. Yeah, Buddha, you like it? All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning into this episode of Make It. Make It Dog Treats. We hope that it inspired you to make some homemade treats that are healthy and delicious for your four-legged friend. And never forget, all is well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Love ya.